Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. So Gabrielle Union says she felt entitled to cheat during her first marriage due to being the breadwinner. Whoever has the most gets to do whatever the hell they want. That is what she said. And for you guys who do not know, Gabrielle Union, back in the early 2000s, she was married to former NFL player Chris Howard. So this is them right here, and this is them right here. Now, he wasn't a big time NFL player. He only earned like around 3 million. But in the early 2000s, for you guys who do not know, Gabrielle Union was one of the biggest black actresses out there. So she was getting that bread. And at that point, he was retired from the NFL. So she was definitely the breadwinner in the relationship. But here's the thing, this entire situation has proven that Gabrielle Union shows one of the biggest dangers that a lot of men face when it comes to dating and being married to a woman who makes more. Unfortunately, too many cannot handle it and subconsciously they feel that the man is not a real man. They feel that they wear the pants in the relationship and it's gotten so bad to a point where some women purposely are attracted and go for guys who make less than them because they feel that he will be easier to control, he will do what she wants and he will depend on her and won't leave her. Of course, course, this is not always the case. There's always exceptions to the rules. There are a lot of women out there that are in healthy relationships where she makes more and still respects her man at the end of the day. But unfortunately, we hear far too many times of cases like this. And even we have guys who have shared their negative experiences of dating a woman who made more than them and felt that they were the pants in the relationship because of making more. They did not respect him and would make negative remarks towards him because of the simple simple fact of making more. It's a weird dynamic, but we hear and see it happen too many times. Now as far as Gabrielle Union goes, the truth is this had nothing to do with her being the breadwinner. She just truly did not respect her ex-husband and she has no morals herself. Regardless of the finances, she would have cheated anyways, even if he made more money because she has no morals. Dwayne Wade better watch his back since history tends to repeat itself. Plenty of guys who are the breadwinner get cheated on every day. The unfortunate thing with a lot of cheaters is that they look for any type of excuse for their actions to avoid accountability instead of looking at themselves in the mirror and admit that they are not ish. When you make a vow like marriage for better or for worse, sure, your mate may be the breadwinner right now, but life is unexpected. They may fall on hard times. They may lose their job. Their business may go through hard periods. So you mean to tell me because of that and let's say an unfortunate situation causes your man and his income to decrease. So you mean to tell me that a woman has the right to now cheat? That is nothing but BS. There is no excuse for cheating. The fact that you make more money, the fact that he's not giving you attention anymore, the fact that he's never home, always working, it's nothing but BS. It's a part of the long list of excuses that cheaters have, and it's nothing but BS. The fact of the matter, at the end of the day, women like Gabrielle Union simply have no morals and they lack self-control. And that is the reason why they cheated on their spouse. There's no excuse that can justify cheating. So you can miss me with that BS. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. And with that being said, I am out.